Welcome back, hot dogs. I hope everyone had a good fall break. I'm your host, Violet. Kind of speak, music, and more on today's news. Now onto the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention all music students. There will be a London interest meeting tonight via Zoom at 7 p.m. All music students and parents are invited to attend. Please check your ensemble's Facebook page for Zoom information. If you have any questions, see Mr. Denniston. For lunch today, we'll be having pull apart pizza and chef salads. Happy birthday goes out to Joshua Ortiz, Jocelyn Seward, and Leanne Tyson. Now into sports with Elijah. Hi, I'm Elijah. Outstanding year of football came to an end Friday night as the Frankfurt Hot Dogs fell to Lebanon 29-0. Our team made some tremendous strides this season. Back in July, we were not even sure if we would get a season or what it would look like. We were facing global pandemic and a 0-10 record coming into the 2020 season. Overall, the offense struggled against the aggressive and physical Tiger defense. Riley Goodnight was held to 39 yards rushing Sam Michael was held to 34 yards passing. Nonetheless, the offense put together the most impressive st statistical season in over half a decade. Our offense improved by 165 points from last year and the year before. We had two players over 1,000 yards of offense. Sam Michael accounted for 1,449 yards of offense. Riley Goodnight ended the year with 1,409 yards. And Jade Ayers led a talented wide receiver group with 37 catches and four, 845 yards, all-purpose yards. Riley finished his junior season ranked 21st in the entire state for total yards and 19th in the state in rushing yards. Defensively, the Hot Dogs held Lebanon to only 29 points. This is the fewest points the Frankfurt defense has given up to Lebanon since 2015. The linebacker duo of Gabe Chavez and Brenton Wood led the defense with 16 and 15 tackles, respectively. Gabe Chavez in the season ranked second nationally in tackles and first in Indiana. Brad Carreras finished the year ranked 20th nationally overall in tackles, first nationally among defensive tackles, and seventh overall in state. Bryce McDonald finished the year tied for 31st nationally in interceptions, tied for seventh in state for interceptions, and tied for 15th in state in tackles among free safeties. Ramsey Mitchell finished his senior year tied for 13th in the state in sacks, and Reese Mitchell ended his year as the number one strong safety in state in total tackles. Thank you, seniors, and thank you to this entire team for an incredible year. The Hot Dogs look to head in the offseason looking to improve on the success of this year. Semi-state qualifiers in cross country were Creolanese, Alexis Regal, Angel Perez, Daniel Pritchett, and Josue Bautista. Girls swimming season begins today, and boys swimming season begins on November 9th. Anyone interested in wrestling here? Please send Coach Lee an email letting him know that you plan to wrestle, and make sure they have all of your file forms information complete. There is open math this Tuesday and Thursday, and the first official practice begins next Monday right after school. Anyone that has expressed interest in managing the season should be at Open Mat on Tuesday or Thursday of this week. That's it for sports. Now back to your host. Thanks, Elijah. Happy Kindness Week, hot dogs. To celebrate Kindness Week, the Student Services Department is giving away a 32-inch Roku TV. There will be several ways you can be entered into the drawing. Stop by the cart in the Commons before school and complete a kindness challenge. Participate in Spirit Week by dressing up. Post something kind or uplifting on social media and send a screenshot for proof or tag Facebook or Twitter. Send a kind email to a classmate or teacher and show proof. Virtual students are eligible as well. Just email proof of your kind acts to a school counselor, Mrs. Evans, Ms. Braun, or Mrs. Everett. Students can be entered into the drawing one time each day. The winner will be selected on Friday afternoon. As for Spirit Days this week, today is crazy for kindness, so congrats if you dressed crazy today. Tomorrow is wear blue and white because FHS students are kind. That's all for today's news. Remember to like and subscribe for more news every day.